this flourless oat fiber keto bread is nut-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. Let's go. This keto bread is flourless. It's mainly made with oat fiber, if you were wondering. We don't have any nuts in this recipe and it's dairy free because normally people who are allergic to dairy, they can still have eggs. What I love about this recipe is you can create your own shape of bread and you can be so creative. And here in my thumbnail, I just showed you one example of how pretty you can make your bread. Another fantastic thing is that you can pre-mix your dry ingredients and place them in a zip Block bag and then just make bread whenever you feel like it. it's so easy you literally throw everything into a mixing bowl and then bake it nutritional information and your shopping list is listed in the description box let's get into this recipe now let's first make up the dry ingredients which will be the substitute for flour to a bowl add 150 grams of oat fiber then remove one tablespoon and one teaspoon of the oat fiber and place into another bowl i will explain why a little later next add 30 grams of egg white powder 80 grams of flaxseed powder 33 grams of psyllium husk powder 17 grams of baking powder 5 grams of salt i have 30 grams of sweetener here remove one teaspoon and add it to the oat fiber we set aside earlier then add the rest of the sweetener to the dry ingredients and lastly seven grams of instant dried yeast Mix the small amount of oat fiber and sweetener we set aside earlier and whisk the dry ingredients in the big bowl as well until fully combined in one color, then set aside for now. To a separate bowl, add five eggs, 400 mils of lukewarm water and 50 grams of white vinegar or you can use apple cider vinegar as well. Then give it a good whisking until you cannot see any yolks and the liquid is all one color. Add the dry ingredients and I mean from the big bowl, not the small one just yet. And I'm using a dough hook, but you can use a paddle attachment or you can whisk it by hand too if you like. The main thing is that everything is mixed well together. If you're using a machine, you will probably need to scrape down the sides of the bowl a couple times. And once you're happy that everything is mixed well, you will notice the dough is quite runny. That's okay, that means it's exactly right. Let it sit for five minutes and that's going to allow the egg white, the psyllium husk and the flaxseed powders to absorb some of the liquid. While that's happening, set your oven to 356 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and grease and line an oven tray and set that aside. Now after five minutes, you can see a real difference in the dough. It's not so runny anymore, but it's still going to be a bit sticky. So oil your hands with a keto approved oil and dump all of the dough onto the lined baking tray. Now it's time for some fun. Shape the dough however you like, and this time I'm going for a round shape. And if you cannot be bothered, you can just add all of the dough to a lined loaf tin as well. Once you're happy with your shape, sprinkle the oat fiber sweetener mixture we set aside earlier all over the surface of the bread and you can create a design like I'm doing here. And I'm not even using a precision knife like I normally would for this kind of baking. I just wanted to show you what you could do with a normal knife. A leaf on either side of a flower and then some lines to fill up the other half of the bread. And now I'm just filling in some spaces with a couple of stems. As I said earlier, your oven temperature should be 356 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And my bread took 55 minutes to bake, but you want to start checking it at about 40 minutes. Of course, I let it cool first and now I'm just pressing in to show you how soft it is. And I want to show you all sides of this bread. So, you know, around the sides and check out the underneath. It is perfectly baked.
And now let's check out the inside. I'm just going to slice into it and please do take note of the texture and how soft this bread is and how easy it is to slice. This is just one example of how much fun you can have creating your own bread. And I'm holding it up so you can see the size generally of how it's gonna turn out for you. In some other videos, we are gonna do a plated bread and we're gonna do some rolls as well or buns. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get to try it and please do send me pictures. I'd love to see what you create. Thanks for watching, stay safe and be well.